Well, how do there, chums? You're right there, people in the viewer verse. Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And as you can see, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky. I've already debriefed my frigate free. I got given something a little bit weird this time, though. I got given some sort of strange trinket, which was some chipped crab machine or something or other. But anyways, I can't find it somewhere in my freaking evil inventory. But anyhow, let's press on on, shall we, people in the view of us? Yes, I did record that bit of footage, but for whatever reason, my laptop just froze. And then threw up an error message, and I lost that bit of footage. So, yeah, a bit of a shame. Anyway... We reconvene at the point that we're going to send out new frigate missions. Let's see if we're, how we're doing on our two frig, well, three frigates. One of my frigates went up to a bit. Oh, look, this one's a free star. A freaking free star, but it's six hours. Oh, we've got another one there, a free star, which is two hours. We can do the two hours one, people, because it's very rare that you see free star missions. I don't know whether it gives us more. Oh, look, we've got an A class now, A class, B and C. Brilliant. Okay, I need to rename those at some point. I'll do that after they hit their S classes. As you can see here, I've named all of my frigates after TV shows I liked as I was growing up as a child, as a young Steve. Yes, fun the cats. Fun the cats are on the loose. Fun the cats are loose. I guess they are. Or the little green man and zoom zoom. I remember the theme tune for that one, but it's um, not as joyous as as uh, you know, fun to catch. Anyway, there we go. We've got those in. Is that going to give us? It's given us a five-star rating. Off you go, my little frigatey friends. Well, that's going to take two hours and eighteen minutes, people. That's going to take me closer to my lunch time, isn't it? So yeah, I might as well just finish my brew and do what I need to do, and then um, we'll be moving on, I suppose. Right. Well, let's see if we can find another dissonant Viking system, and hopefully we get to finish the words. I think this one here is a Viking dissonant system. Um, it's got water, but it's not Viking. So let's uh, go on to the old doohickey here. Life forms. Let's see if we can find another dissonant Viking system. So there we are. Water, 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 water everywhere. Dissonant, not to spare. There's a dissonant Viking system right there, people. Not too far from where we are. Who goes? Well, hey, well, I've arrived, Dakota. Arrived located in style. Yes. Well, let's go and scan these planets from my hot tub over here. I say hot tub, it's a scanner of some sorts, obviously. But yeah, it doesn't look more like a hot tub to me. There you go. Boom! I've got this one. Oh, right. Well, that's dissonant. It's got copper and pyrite and salt on it. But that looks like it... Mm, okay. Strange. We'll go there, then. We've got this one here, star bulb. I would have preferred the star bulb one, but okay, we're going there. We're going to planet Java Raw, you gay. You gay. Righto. Let's go get my shippity ship and let's fly on down and let's have a look, see, shall we? Right, where where is my shippity ship? Ship? Where are you, ship? There it is. Right there. Couldn't see it for looking, people. Heck no I couldn't. Right, well let's jump on in. Fly on out and see your planet side, people. Okay, well, I'm landing at a trading post. Why am I landing at... I was landing at a trading post. Something weird just happened. Did you see that, people? I got nudged off my freaking landing pad and forced to land on rocks. Yeah, that's, um... That was just rude. Okay, right. Well, we're heading up and we're going to speak to some Viking. That's why we're landing here, though, people. Because there's Viking that frequent these little places. Let's go and speak to this chappy here. Hello there, Viking warrior. How are you this evening? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. You know, that's um, that's a shame. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's uh, let's carry on then. Request dialect help. Mystery symbol. That's all I've got left now is the mystery symbol. Let's see if we can complete this wordage. Hello there, mate. I like your getup. It's very Piccolo, isn't it, from Dragon Ball? I guess. Mystery symbol. For meat, it was nice to meet you. Hello there, chappy. Oh, I like your little bindi. That's that's pretty darn nice. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's see what he's got to say then. Mystery symbol. Word for local. Okay, cool. Oh, you've got a bindi too. I once visited a Hindu temple and they put a bindi on me. It was great. Here we go. And request I like to help. Cool. Mystery symbol. Memories. Memories, la da fa la da fa la. I don't know the lyrics. Right, okay, here we go. And uh, mystery symbol. Impure. 
Yeah, I get called that a lot when I start singing. Yes, ungodly voice is what they say. Voice of an angel, I take it. Right, well, let's head on down. And um, I guess, I mean, I could look for knowledge stones, if there's any knowledge stones around. Knowledge stones, knowledge stones, is there any? Um, but this is a volcanic planet. And I don't overly want to explore a volcanic planet, so I think we were shite out of luck this episode, people. But what we can do is we can go up to the actual station and we can learn some more of the lingo there. But before we do that, let's do at least do one echo camp. Let's see if our luck is really terrible today, people. We're going to hit on up an echo camp and see if we can get to repair an autophage or two. But if we, if not, if not, people, then, um, yeah, we just have to hope for a better day tomorrow. Okay, well, we got there. Seven minutes it's going to take on foot. Oh, yeah, oh, well, well, we'll take our ship and we'll fly there, people. I'm not a massive fan of the volcanic worlds or the marshy swamp worlds. I kind of really wish they would give them a little bit of love um, because at the moment they've got no harvestable plants. They've got no real rhyme or reason to come here. And they're just very samey to one another there's not as much variant on these worlds as there are with say the star bramble and frost crystal i kind of thought that they were going to be placeholders for more to come when it comes to their generation but sadly no not the case all right well this brought us right in i thought this would be approximate location but no the shadows here make it look like that was i look like it was a cliff edge there I don't know whether that was just my eyes. Oh, actually, it is. It is a cliff edge. This is just in a little recess. All right, well, boom. Hello there, friends. Yes, from the world of make-believe, they appear. Okay, opera systems. We're going to do the language first, people, like we do every episode. Request dialect help. we we'll learn a new word. Like, yes. There we are. And we learned the word of merchants. What mission have you got for us, my friend? I'm going to offer my assistance for you. Collect chromatic metal. Don't mind if I do. Ornamus chimes. There you go. There's your chromatic metal. Hello. Oh, I like your little hood. That's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Looks like one of those terrible bike helmets that you get for BMXs or something. Here you go. Practice the language. And uh, request dialect help. Uh, what have you got for us this time, my friend? Auto. F There's still four on this light like, tree arc of freaking stuff, you know? I've got so many words to learn from these chaps. Offer assistance. Repair lost autophage. We got one. We got one mission from prayer and an autophage. Is that what I think it is? It is. It's a radiant shard. Okay. Hello there, chum. How are you this evening? I want to learn a word. I know, this is riveting stuff. He looks exactly like the... Oh, look, the ship just landed in the background there, people. Yeah, it's just a trader. They, they sell the odd thing, but, you know. Opera assistance. What mission have you got? Collect chromatic metal. Well, I can do that. That's um, not a problem, my friend. Hand in. There we go. Done and dusted. So we can go and fix that auto page. Let's go and do that. Then I think we probably will go up to the station, learn some more Viking. Because I don't think... I could be wrong, but I don't think there's many knowledge stones to be had on this planet. Or if there is, they're going to be quite hazardous to get, you know? Alright, where's the blanking mission then? Why is it not giving me the mission straight away? There you are. Oh. Is it on top of this neighbouring hill? Is it right here? Nope. What I don't like about these... Oh, there we go. 25 seconds it's saying it was going to take me to get there. Well, I'll see you when I get there, people. I'll save you those 25 seconds. Okay, well, it actually took me longer to land here than it did to actually fly here. It kept saying, landing not clear for like 10 minutes. Anyway, I, th I think it's... Oh, great. It's not even near here. Now, I'm sure I saw the landing site while I was trying to circle around. Apparently, it's this way by 187 U's. Honestly, don't know. I, 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 I thought it was behind me. Okay. Well, I think it's just over here where the smoke is then. All right. Let's head here then. What the fudge is that doing outside of the ground? You're supposed to be buried, mate. Yeah, we'll have that away anyway. Salvage data. What the fudge not? There you go. Let's pop that then. Is this it? This isn't where I'm supposed to be. Well, apparently it is now. 
autophage located. Well, they're not appearing. Oh, that's because I scanned in the wrong bloody place. All right, there we go. Let's go down here then. Let's go fix this little autophage, dude. Chicka boom, chicka pow, chicka pow, pow, pow. And you're back to life. Oh, that was a little bit screechy, wasn't it? The 17th, ratty. Oh, that's creepy sounds. Right, well, let's head on round here. Hello, you in green. How are you today, sir? I see you, Disruptor. What do you see in me? A way to learn a new word. That's what I see. Yeah, oh, there we go. And we're going to learn a new word of the autophage. A word for ancient. Nice one. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to offer my assistance to thee. Collect pyrite. I think I can do that for you, sir. I have that in my pocket right now, sir. There you are, sir. Okay. I have to wait a bit longer then. There you go. Let's try again, sir. I was too fast, sir. There you are, sir. Done, sir. There we are. You know, the niceties, the politeness. You, you've got to go out of your way, sir, haven't you, sir? Yeah, that's right. Well, let's go this way. Let's see if there's any knowledge stones in this lo local proximity. Honestly, don't think there will be, but, you know, well, to be honest, with this landscape, I don't really fancy gallivanting around as much, to be honest. It's, it's too hilly. It's too freaking hilly. It's all over the shop, this place. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother getting any more of those shards or anything on this planet. I think I'm done. So, you know what? I'm going to fly up to the station, learn some Viking inside of the station, and then I'm probably going to go get myself another brew, go get myself a sandwich, a sandwich. Make a sandwich for later, for my lunch or for my tea. Yes, yeah, because it's still quite early for thee, for me. Inside of this game, yes, before work in the mornings. Well, here I am, waiting at a bus stop, wishing I was somewhere else. No, it's not a bus stop, it's a freaking space station. But it does look like a bus station, doesn't it? Well, it does for the ones here in the UK. Hello there, golden horned friend that looks like a grape. Hello there, buddy. Right, well, let's have a look what merchants selling when it comes to modules. Blaze Javelin, don't want it. Bolt caster, I could. A pulse spitter, that's the one I wanted. You know what? We could do the bolt coaster caster as well, since it's on offer. Lovely jubbly. Well, that worked out okay. My luck has turned to corner people inside of the view of us, I guess. Anyways, um, where shall I put the pulse spitter? I put the pulse spitter up here, I think, people. Because this is the last of the weapons that I was hoping to find. Now, the, the pulse spitter has got a heck of a lot of modules, so I might stick them a little bit higgledy piggledy and then put the S class modules amongst it. So, fuse and igniter, that's what puts them on fire. Yeah, that's nice. And, um, yeah, let's go to the old exosuit then. Where's those S class modules? There's one. Lovely job. And put that in there. Another pulse spitter module. Uh, we've got because there's a couple in here. There you are. There's that one. I think there's also ricochet as well, which is pretty mental. Um, let's have a well. We'll go get the uh, other S class modules in a second. Let's get to the bolt caster in, shall we, people? As well, I put the bolt caster here. I think so. Bolt caster. Bolt. Oh look, we've got another pulse spitter one there. Chicka pow, chicka pow. Might as well move that now though. I'll put that there. Right. And bolt caster. Bolt caster, where are you, bolt caster? There's the ionized particle for it, but where's there's the actual one? Nice. And we put a booster one here. Uh, bolt caster, ionized, there we are. This one also has a ricochet module. I'm not so keen on it on um, the bolt caster, but we'll put it in anyway. There we are, chums. And um, that's looking quite dapper. And we've got the old module here. Kapow! And we'll stick that one in there. Lovely. Right. And now I can go do the reload method. Because at the moment, that vendor, you know, he's now sold out. So to get him to get it back in again, you need to jump in and out of your ship to create an autosave, like so. Meow. And meow. That creates the autosave. And then you just reload your autosave now, people. And then he'll sell some more. Right, well, this is my last reload, so I've already done one other that I didn't bother putting in because what's the blanking point? And you see it three times. Yeah, I've seen it twice is enough, isn't it? So, hello there, multi tool vendor. And hopefully he's replenished his stock. Purchase, heck yes. And broadcaster, thank you. Pulse bitter, thank you. 
And let's go and install the kite these. There you go, pulse spitter. And that's the completed set for my pulse spitter, I guess. You know what? I'm just gonna fill this gap in up here with these two modules, because why the fudge not? And then um yeah, I'm gonna go back over to my exosuit, grab the last bolt caster, stick that in there. And the reason that I've done it that way round is if I destroy some sentinels or go to Sentinel Pillar and stuff and I get those other modules from the uh, sharded glass, I can put them there. In fact, I don't think I've got any of that glass stuff inside of here, do I? I mean, I do. Yes, look, here you go. Here's some here. Let's see if we get one for the multi-tool, shall we? So I think we've got one here, actually. Oops. Uh, right, that's that wasn't what I was after. Okay, well, um, fine, we've got uh, these, but they're for the exosuit. Um, yeah, I don't think we got any for our actual... No, we didn't get anything for our multi-tool. Bit of a shame. We've got three more there that we can pop. Did that give me anything? Probably not. It's hard to tell with my freaking inventory, isn't it, you know? But yeah, there we are. Oh, well, it's, it doesn't matter. Not a jot. Not one bit, in fact, to people. But yeah, sometimes you get the odd multi-tool sort of um, expand... Well, module. Oh, OK. Something did pop up then, but I'm not too sure where it's blinking gone in my inventory. Could have gone anywhere. Right, oh, anyway, we're here, really, to talk to the occupants of the station. That was just a bonus that I managed to get the modules I needed. Right, well, let's start talking to some Viking and let's hope that we complete the words. The words, the words, the words of the Viking. Let's go get this one, then. Oh, no, I don't want you on my freaking weapons terminal. Yeah, it'd be nice if they had little symbols above their head that, that, that you know, well, yeah, so you know not to talk to them if you just want a freaking word. Waste of a freaking 30 seconds, that. There we are. We've got to learn a word from him. Hello there, friend. Ah, yes, I would like to learn a word or two. Nice, we learned the word for approach. Hello there, Captain. Captain to Captain! Yeah, what have you got for me? Word for fast. This is not fast by any stretch of the imagination, is it? I'm trying to learn these words. This is as slow as watching paint dry on a non-sunny day. Okay, right there we go. Advanced. Okay. I think we've really got one more over in the background. It doesn't look like we're going to learn all the Viking in this episode, chum. Ah, promised. All right, fine. Are you going to be the last one? I don't think you are. I think we've still got more to go. Fun times. Request dialect help. A mystery symbol. Okay, well, there's at least this episode, chums. We've managed to get my multi-tool fully upgraded with all the modules that I want. The multi-tool is now pretty much finished, people. I mean, I could put a geology cannon in it, but you know what? I think having the neutron cannon is fine. There we go. We just learned a geck word as well, just to top off our little jaunt today. But when I say we've almost finished our little jaunt, I will be going and de, de sort of briefing those frigates and seeing how we get on with that sending my frigates out on another mission so i'll see you in a jot for that bit all right see you soon